Hello, my name is Roger Lear, President of Orlando Jobs, and today we are going to talk about the OrlandoJobs.com job fair at the Amway Center on October 5th. And I really, really want to tell you from the bottom of my heart, I want you to get the best job, not just a job, but there's a, there's a magic behind it that a lot of you guys that are coming to this job fair don't understand. And hopefully, by the end of this presentation, I'll give you some really good ideas about how you can find that fantastic job. So I am so happy to have you viewing this video, but let's get started. You know, the, the very first thing that starts with getting a great job is research. We're gonna have over a hundred companies at this work at this event. And 90% of them, you're not going to know what jobs they have available. And I think that's the biggest mistake job seekers make. And you know, I just pulled a couple different types of jobs, but if you do the research, there's a company called GCA Services Corp. And you probably never heard of this company. But if you go to them, you'll see that they are a facilities management company. They take care of large facilities. They do cleaning, they do all kinds of stuff. They also have a, a division that does rental car cleaning and driving rental cars back and forth and stuff like that. And you would think, well, what kind of job is there for me? Well, if you go and look at the jobs that they're bringing to the job fair, you'll see maybe you're a facilities manager. A facilities manager, they have an opening for a facilities manager. So if you're a facilities manager and you look down the list of companies, how in the world would you ever know that this company has a facilities job? They have janitor positions, they have car rental driver positions. There's a lot of different jobs at that particular company. Another company, if you do the research, called Two's Company, T-E-W-S Company. What are they? Well, they're an unbelievable staffing firm. What type of jobs do they have? Well, they have all types of jobs. They have an HR director job open. They have admin positions open. They have a .NET programmer position open. You have to do the research and you'll find out that these companies have a tremendous amount of jobs. And if you know the jobs that they have available and you match to their job skill set, when you go meet these folks in person, you have something to talk about instead of, hey, I gotta get a job. And that's really important. So research, dress well. Here's some examples of people that dress well at job fairs. This is from our last job fair. And all of these pictures that you're seeing right now are people that are dressed well. Doesn't mean a suit and tie in most cases, depending on the type of job that you're looking for. But in so many of these job fairs, we see people come in with wrinkled clothes or jeans or sneakers. You're not prepared. You should be in a nice business casual, comfortable, you know, comfortable shoes, nice pants, nice shirt, um, you know, uh, groom yourself wonderfully, you know, cut your hair, do whatever it takes. First impressions matter. And many of you get to the, uh, up to these recruiters and they take a look at you and if you haven't put the effort out on your side of the things you can control, you're certainly not going to, to make any sort of first impression, even if you have the skill sets in a lot of cases. So keep that in mind, it's very important. And hopefully those pictures helped what looks good at job fairs. Your targeted resume. I'm going to be doing a uh, another video about resumes that you'll be able to watch, which is on our the same channel. But uh, your targeted resume. What do I mean by that? Well, a lot of you have so many different types of skills out there, and if you have all these different skill sets, when you go and approach an employer and you've done the research and you're an accountant and you're a cost accountant, but you've done all these other things uh, in the accounting world. If your resume at the very top, the title says cost accountant, that recruiter, when you give them that resume, they're gonna be able to tell you very quickly, wow, that's a cost accountant. Followed by your core competencies, as you can see underneath uh, the title of the resume, followed up by all the different things that you do that, that support why you are a good cost accountant. Uh, you know, the biggest, the, the, the biggest mistake job seekers make, especially those that know that they can get different types of jobs at different companies, is give that generic resume to everybody. 
and it, the employer has to decipher. That's why we go back to number one. Research is really, really, really important, and I, I can't stress it enough. If you know the job that they're recruiting for, your resume can go right to that job, and you will make a difference. Have your intro speech ready. A lot of people call it the elevator speech, but the intro speech is being able to introduce yourself. Hi, my name is John Smith. I am a cost accountant for the last five years. Uh, with my current company, I was rated as, as the top cost accountant in the state of Florida. Uh, I noticed that you had a position very similar to the one I currently have, and I'd love to find out more about it because of all the research I did on your company, you guys look like a great place to work. If you say something similar to that to a recruiter versus, hey, I just want to, what kind of jobs you have open, or I just need a job, you are going to be very successful at this job fair because you're going to separate yourself from most of the individuals that are, that are going to be at this job fair. Take that to heart. And you can fill in whatever you do Fill it in to that 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 line of of uh, whatever you do at the job fair, and the way you talk to that employer, the more confident you are, and the more direct you are about the position they have, what you who you are, what you've done, and maybe a little bit about why you're good at what you do, will go a million miles in that recruiter's mind, no question about it. So what I want to what I want to point out here is. All these things right here are done before you even get to the Amway Center. All of these are done. You have to dress before you get there. You definitely have to research before you get there. You definitely have to have targeted resumes for the jobs that you really want. Amazon.com is going to be there. And everybody's like, oh wow, I want to work for Amazon. Sure you do, but if you walk up and say, oh, you guys have a great company, I want to work for you, and you don't know what they're hiring for, you have wasted your time. You have not separated yourself. What jobs are Amazon bringing to, this, to the, the job fair in October? Well, I can tell you, they're bringing facility positions, they're bringing warehouse positions, they're bringing marketing positions and sales positions. There's all types of different opportunities that they have. And if you can figure that out beforehand, because it is all online, you're going to be very, very successful in talking to them and having a resume that mirrors one of those positions. The smaller companies that you know nothing about have a lot of the great jobs as well. So that's what I'm saying is, is, is a job fair is more than just a bunch of named companies and you try to figure it out when you get there. And uh, that's why all these things that you can do before you get there are very, very important. So. Keep that in mind. So it's now it's go time. You get to the Amway. We have a video about logistics there as well on this channel and uh, how, how to do that. It's very simple, free parking, all that good stuff. But you're already dressed, you got your resumes, you target out your companies, who you wanna go see, and you go meet the recruiters. And when you get there, you, you have your elevator speech, you know what they're looking for, you're going to learn a lot by listening to other people in line of what they did. And if you shake their hand well, you look good, you're very clear in your, on the way you talk to them, you're going to make a huge difference in the way they respond back to you. The critical part here is a lot of you guys that have been to job fairs, you'll hear, go apply online. And I get that. It's just the reality of the world we live in today. But those recruiters also are saying that to a lot of people that um, they may want to apply online because that's what they want them to do. But if you're a special person, they'll want to talk to you that day or soon right, right after. That's why it's critical that you get their business card and you make a reason for uh, to, to be able to get your resume directly to them right after the event and thank them for their time. I, uh, I can't stress it enough, the uh, preparedness that you are will put you in the top 10% of the job seekers that go to job fairs. And that's what this video is about. It's not about getting a job, it's about getting a great job.
get that information from the recruiter because you will, you most likely will have to apply online, but you'll also have a way around the online directly to that recruiter. So I hope that, I hope that helps. The follow-up is very important. When you get home and after you talk to every recruiter, take a step back, have a notebook, write exactly what you guys talked about. If you talk to Two's company, if you talk to Amazon, if you talk to, to um, Universal, it doesn't matter who you talk to. Write down exactly what you talked about. Write down if you talked about uh, anything but jobs, like you know that you created some computer program and you ended up talking about that, or you know whatever it is. You'll never remember everything that you talked about. So write that down, and when you follow up, you can reference that in that email that you send back to to that recruiter. Not only thank for your time, but letting them know how interested you are in working for their company. You know, um, that follow-up is really important. So, you know, most of the job fair is before you even get there. And when you get there, you should be ready per to perform because you're planned and you're ready to go to the companies that have the jobs that you can do and so forth. You know, enthusiasm and positive attitude are the only other things that if you do all of this and you don't have that, you're not going to be very successful either. Yes, there's a lot of people that come to these things, but these employers aren't there not to hire. They're there to hire, and they want enthusiastic, positive people. And if you have the skill sets, you're well planned out, you understand what they're looking for, and you ask very good questions, not questions that you can find online already, but you ask questions about you know, what makes a person successful in those jobs, you get the recruiters to talk to you. You shake your hands very, very strongly. You do great follow-up. You're going to have a very successful job fair. And you're going to find out about jobs that you never even knew existed by doing your research that are going to be the jobs that are going to be the great jobs, not just a job. And that, I hope, is what really, really propels you to your next great career. Uh, all this stuff's online and enjoy uh, these videos as well as any questions that you have you can certainly always email us using those email addresses and, and contacting orlandojobs.com at any time we are here to help we love our clients that come to these job fairs and we certainly want to make sure that your experience is awesome thank you very much